The Crab and the Whale by Mark Pallas and Christian Kerr Illustrated by James Cottell One day, Crab was walking home. The tide was out and the sun shimmered on the sandy beach. Crab had lots of legs and all those legs meant Crab could run really fast. But today, like most days, Crab walked slowly, listening carefully to the sound each leg made as it touched the sand. Then Crab noticed. Thud! A whale washed up by the waves. Crab raced over and pushed and pulled and yanked and heaved and tugged and shoved. But it was no good. Whale was stuck. Crab realised there was another way to help. I'll stay with you until the tide comes in, said Crab, giving Whale's rubbery skin a gentle stroke. But Whale still looked worried. You know what always makes me feel better, said Crab, blowing out a deep breath. Maybe you should try that. Whoosh! A gentle breath, Crab laughed. Try this, said Crab. Listen to the sound of the sea. Now whisper back to it. Breathe in, then breathe out, making the sound of the sea. Whale whispered to the sea and became more and more relaxed with each passing breath. As the sun slowly set, they counted the colours in the sky. That cloud looks just like an elephant, said Crab. Whale didn't say anything. She thought the cloud looked like a teapot. I love the stars, said Crab. She stretched up as far as she could. I feel as though I could eat them. Mmm, fizzy. Whale yawned. So did Crab. They both fell asleep. Next day, the cold sea tickled Whale's tail, waking her up. As Whale wriggled with excitement, she started to sink into the soft sand. Keep still, said Crab, but Whale wouldn't keep still. Feel the water rising up your body. Notice every splosh, splish and splash, said Crab. Whale concentrated. The water crept slowly up her dry skin. Then finally, she was free. Crab blew out a long breath and stretched each one of her eight tired legs. Helping Whale had been hard work, but it made Crab happy. Thanks, splashed Whale. You're welcome, Crab laughed. Crab scurried off home with her legs ticking gently on the sand. It was going to be a good day. 
Let's practice our breathing, just like crab and whale do. Lie on your back with your favourite soft toy on your tummy and gently cuddle it with your hands. Breathe in and as you breathe out, make a soft shh, just like the sound of the sea. With each whisper, you are helping your toy drift off to sleep. As you breathe in and out, feel how your toy rocks up and down on your tummy, as if it's floating on the sea, floating along with whale, safe and happy. Say quietly to yourself, every day I will be kind to myself and others, and remember how little crab helped big whale. Breathing in, I fill up with kindness. Breathing out, I smile.